Welcome back everybody to another tutorial video where today I will be showing you how to remove the covers off of an Ibex furnace. In this demonstration I'll be using the pressing furnace, but the porcelain furnace is the exact same way. So to start off a few tools we'll need include a standard Phillips screwdriver and a 5 16 inch nut driver. If you can't get that nut driver, an 8mm wrench will work instead. Once you have those tools, go ahead and take the furnace and disconnect all power cables, vacuum cables, and air hose accessories. After that, go ahead and turn the furnace around so that you're facing the back of the furnace. I want you to then take your nut driver and untighten the six nuts on the back of the furnace. After the hardware has been removed, take the back cover and set it somewhere it is unlikely to get damaged. You may put the hardware in the back of the cover to help keep track of it. Next, take your nut driver and remove this top nut. Next, untighten the two nuts located underneath the cable clamp as well as right next to the belt pulley. After the three nuts have been removed from the back of the furnace, take your Phillips screwdriver and undo four out of five of the screws on one side of the top cover and all five on the opposite side. Remove all of the screws from both sides of the bottom cover. All right, once all the screws but one has been removed from the top panel, go ahead and put one hand underneath the cover to hold it up while you're unscrewing that last screw. Once undone, set it on the table or set it aside and take one hand underneath and the other hand on the back of the cover and pull outwards and upwards, removing the cover without damaging anything on the top. Lastly, after setting the top cover aside, use your left hand to hold the back of the furnace and your right hand to hold the front. Using your left hand, lean it backwards slightly and with your right hand, grab underneath the bottom panel. Once you have a good grip, go ahead and press upwards if it's tight to release it from its grip. Once you have it at this stage, you may use both hands to ever so slightly pull out gently. There's a display cable underneath and you do not want to damage the cable nor any of the other components, so do be careful. Take your finger to unlock the display connector to release the display cable. Once that is done, you may take your bottom panel and set it to the side. In this demonstration, I will be showing you how to remount the bottom panel to your furnace. Before remounting your bottom panel, please be sure to clean the inside of the casing as well as the panel itself from any debris or residue that is a direct result of normal usage. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I want you to grab your bottom panel that you have set aside and lean it against the side of your furnace so that it does not fall over. One of the easiest positions to lean it is the nook between the side and top of the panel, right here. Next, take your display cable and insert it into the cable connector. When you're inserting it, make sure that the edge of the blue on the cable lines up with the connector lock, right here. Once you have your display cable locked into the cable connector, pick up your panel, but do be careful not to pull the display cable out. To insert the panel, tilt the front upwards and insert the back of the panel first. To assist you, line up the two studs on the panel with the two holes in the back of the furnace. Once the studs have been inserted into the holes, you will be able to push the front of the panel downwards and place it into position. Once the panel is in place and secured, you will be able to take your four screws for both sides, the left and right, as well as your two nuts and series of washers for the back. Alright, if you have any further questions, I will leave our contact information in the description. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified of when we post more videos. 
And thank you very much for watching. Adios.